Hi, it's Leo. I wanted to show you my old development environment, which I can't read at the moment. Um, but I'd like to show you some of the old code and how it was built and how you can actually make an application with it. And for that, I'm actually going to use DJ's uh, Cloud CPM because it suits the purpose rather nicely. Um, but I wanted to also tell you about GitHub. I've uh, put my new GitHub repo for all of the Nabu code and source that I'm going to provide at https colon slash slash github.com slash Leo Binkowski slash Nabu. Uh, you'll be able to find the code there. Now, moving right along. So, uh, using Cloud CPM, I've managed to move some, uh, and, and using the stored uh, directory folder in IA, I managed to move some of my code to uh, the C drive and if I do a dir, oh, I also like to use extra, which uh, DJ happily put on the A drive because it does a, a single column output that's nice to look at. Um, so you'll see a bunch of uh, files here. Um, this, the, the main file is open.mac. Uh, that's the one that has the source code to the example. And that is also where the main entry point is, which is called open. And it's a very simple example, um, and but it, but it's a good jumping off point for anybody who wants to write a video game for Nabu in the way that we used to do it. So it has it uses a bunch of um, include files that are mentioned at the top. And let's do that extra again just to show you. One of which is a rith.mro, and there's um, uh, arithmetic functions in there. Uh, uh, build.sub is uh, the submit file that I use to build everything. I've also included cabbuild.com, and you'll see how I'm going to use that in a little bit. But as far as the macro files, uh, clkat, what we call clockat.mro, is for doing multitasking. Common.mro has a bunch of the macros that we normally use, like pcall and so on. Uh, pretty much every application uses something in common.mro. Linktab.exe uh, is the extern file for the Nabu iOS. If you include this file when you're compiling any uh, or assembling any M80 file, then uh, this exe file will be needed to if you're referring to any Nabu iOS calls. NabuLogo.mac contains a bunch of routines for putting the, the, the Nabu logo on the screen, on the opening screen, and any messages that you wanted to put, like the title, and messages like press go, and so on. Um, PC Engine contains the, uh, uh, PC Engine.mac contains the character set uh, that is used, the arcade character set, the nice thick one that you see in Pac-Man and other applications later on. Struct.mro contains structured macros, which you'll see used in open.mac. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, this contains all of the, the pieces here, but I also have the build file. The build file uh, has, has all of the commands that I have. Now, the one that I'm putting in GitHub doesn't have the drive letter specified. It just says m80 equals open, for instance. So when you run it, And start compiling against it. Oop! It's on the A drive. It'll start cooking away. When each of these different files uh, is is assembled using M80, Open, LinkTab.mho, PCNG, and Nabu Logo, um, then after the, that, I'm going to use L80 to uh, to link them all. And thankfully, no fatal errors. So I can do the next one. Fortunately, this particular one is link tab is very tiny, so it should uh, uh, run very very fast in comparison with compiling. 
open. And there it is. So that's done. The character set PC engine is rather simple. And we have Nabu logo. You'll see the of the functions that are actually used in Open.Mac or in Nabu logo, besides the structured macros. Let's link it now. Now that it's all linked, let's take a look at the uh, build.sub file again. And let's make sure that we have an open.com. There it is. And now we will run the cab build command. If you go to my favorite packet number, which is the one, or the favorite segment number, which is pack bin 110. And as you can see, when it builds, it's going to be less than 3k, just like the link said, about 2.5k for the com file. The packetized file is a little bit bigger because it adds those checksum bytes. Now let's copy the now packetized file to the internet adapter. And it will also tell us that it's 2688 bytes as it's done. Okay, now we're going to check the file explorer. And there is our 110.pack. So we'll copy that and we'll move to my test packs folder and paste it in there. So now we have it occupying the Pac Man slot, our little application. So let's get rid of the file explorer since so we don't need it. And in fact, let's close Cloud CPN because we also don't need it. Because I want to change um, the Nabu Internet Adapter to use instead, I'm going to want to change the settings to using my local pack folder. And we're going to start that one instead which has a different menu than DJ's. Good. Well, I think we've seen that enough. And because this is an original menu, We're going to load the application, and there it is. That little application that we loaded, that we compiled, showed up here. I'm going to push down on the joystick, well, on the arrow keys of the main emulator. Down, left, right, up. So that's the whole thing, and as you can see, it's using the font, the big fat font that I told you about. So let's take a look at this application 
and uh, I'll do that by taking a look at the code. So this is everything that we're going to be uh, providing in um, in the GitHub repository. And we'll start with the build, which is what you should be using as you move it to the um, um, to the uh, to the folder. So let's start with open.mac because that's where the main line is. Uh, it's a Z80 program. Radix 16 says by default values are in hex, uh, even though I'm a stickler for specifying the H at the end anyway. Um, you will see and include for linktab.exe or nlinktab.exe, they're one and the same. They have identical um, values in them. And in, uh, clock at that MRO is the multitasking stuff, as mentioned earlier, the arithmetic routines, the comma.mro, instruct.mro for structured macros, and uh, the definitions for looking at put logo and PC eng. And then for some reason, we have the radix set to 10 because somebody wanted to put the, you know, the uh, decimal places for the places on the screen. So this def message is a macro in it put logo, I believe might be in common. Um, and it just puts a message up at a specific spot on the screen. And that's the message that you saw, for instance, behind us, artificial intelligence program. Blah, blah, blah. The other, the rest of the messages are for up, down, left, and right. I could have gone diagonal, of, of course. Um, and now let's get to the meat of this thing. So at open, uh, open, which is the global, this is the entry point. I, I, we, we start the stack at 6, whatever points to at 6, because this is right under where the iOS is. Then we we build the link table. We can we link to the link table. <laughs> That's exactly what happens using this command n.linkio, which means nabu uh, link io to the link uh, the link table that which we have specified uh, uh, in linktab.mho. Um, then we use pcall, which is a macro to set graphic mode one, which is one of the the the, the iOS uh, commands. V, there's a v set g one and there's a set g one and there. They point to the same spot. I'm not exactly sh certain why they were labeled twice. Maybe somebody changed their mind somewhere to make them smaller or make them longer. I don't know <laughs> exactly. I always use put the V in front of it. So, you, uh, and and I think other people did too. But you could use either. Um, and so you can see it's setting the color, uh, the white on blue, for the text, and uh, setting the uh, the name table, the pattern table, the color table. Uh, the sprite table, the attribute table, and it does a vfill is a, a useful macro for, you know, uh, setting to a specific value, and there, we have vram load at eight bits, to uh, that's that's the routine here. Then we just look at the we we do a loop that just looking at the joystick. Um, now I just wanted to sh to, to mention this. Um, so a little bit farther down you'll see. This is this is one of the structured macros repeat, and until 16, and we have these beautiful structured macros that say until this 16-bit value at here equals end data, um, spin around, put the message on the screen. It's kind of interesting how out the structured macros work for for assembler. See, we also have ifs, if eight for 8-bit, we have an if 16 as well um, for for doing 16-bit values. They work, and and they work very very well. Um, so that's how that, that's all that is to that application. You could use this to uh, we use this as a skeleton to build any video game in Z80. Uh, it expanded from here because all of them had to do, all of them had to do the uh, access the joystick at the very very least, and they also had to access the keyboard. Um, but they also had to initialize the operating system. They had to call operating system commands, and this is a really good example that you can use as a uh, 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 as a as a springboard to your own applications. All right, so that's open.mac, which is pretty simple, and it creates the application as you saw it. Um, but let's take a look at the, the so, some of the includes that we have, like. Uh, arith.mro, I mentioned it before, has an add 8, add a couple 8-bit numbers, and they're just 
macro 80 <laughs> uh, macros uh, subtraction uh, that's a, 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 a simple copy of it now what you will always everybody is going to be accessing is the link tab unfortunately it's documented by Trevor here and this is the first version of it and what happens is th these are all the routines and they're all numbered and this is exactly how we link to and call the NABU routines um, and you'll see when, when, uh, uh, exactly how it works in the assembler um, but uh, it, it's, it's an ingenious way of keeping us shielded in terms of the API um, from changes to it um, but I'm not going to belabor the point. We'll get to it a little bit uh, a little bit later when we talk about Pac-Man. Um, we also have common macros, which have things like the colors and the keyboard ports and uh, the keyboard routines. And interesting enough, people were asking me about the fact that DJ showed a keyboard with four joysticks. Well, there they are, uh, as far as device numbers. And <laughs> we had paddles, too. So there's the definitions for paddles, so it's defined in this file. Kind of neat, huh? Um, different different calls that we use. There's a def message that we used in that um, uh, in open.mac, so that's where it hides. Uh, there's a whole pile of other macros. Um, I'm not going to go through them all right now. Um, I think that's it that we want to look at. Oh, PC Eng, as, as I mentioned before, there's not much to look at, but it's the character set. That the arcade-like character set that's used in Pac-Man and Cubert, and um, put logo, which has those uh, uh, put routines. We also, of course, have CabServe and CabBuild.com, so you can take a look at those. And I think that I'd like to to give everybody homework and just say, take a look at it, try to build your own application, see if you can get it running, put a comment and maybe a screenshot in one of the discords and that kind of stuff and maybe we can get something going here and see how clever everybody are doing it uh, building an application uh, or Nabu title in the old school way oh I almost forgot I just wanted to mention structured macros <laughs> I showed the, uh, them in use in the um, uh, in open.mac but there's if then else while repeats and tills, if 16s, while 16s, case statements, try them out. Uh, there's not a lot of documentation on them, and they're kind of hard to read, but uh, they're, they're really, really cool, and uh, they certainly helped when we were developing. You'll see that all the way through Pac-Man and Minor 249er. So that's about it for today. Um, I would really like to see you guys do your applications, and um, if you have any questions, put them in the chat, and I'll get to them. Take a look at the GitHub, and keep, an, keep a watch on the GitHub, because other stuff is going to appear there. If you can understand what's going on with this example, you will definitely be able to understand what's going on with Pac-Man and Minor 2049er, because they use the same pattern. So um, for those of you who are going to be interested in doing that, do your homework. All right, talk to you later.